Okay, hello everybody. How's class doing today? Uh, mid class. Um, wanted to uh, get a chance to do uh, another little demo on our uh, portable uh, suitcase wire feeder we have here. Um, and today we're going to be using this in conjunction with our Trailblazer 325. Um, what we have here is the uh, the Miller Arc Reach 12 portable. Um, suitcase style wire feeder. We are running self shielded wire, flux core, and we have actually the uh, specialty gun. This is a Bernard gun uh, right here that uh, is the specialty gun for running the inner shield self shielded wire. And uh, yeah, so I did a video earlier on the actual Trailblazer 325 itself. Um, you know more towards uh, just shielded metal arc welding stick welding but just kind of want to go over the basic setup of what we do here uh, because this is a little bit different um, the type of wire that we are running is uh, Lincoln NR211 we sometimes run NR212 uh, uh, very similar but uh, these are uh, DC negative um, type of uh, polarities so we got to switch things up a little bit so to kind of show how we did that with our uh, trailblazer here so this left side okay this this left side you come down here this is the positive side so I mean normally we're running uh, DC positive for stick over on the right here uh, this is the uh, the negative okay where our work lead ground clamp uh, would go so uh, to make this work, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but we basically just took the electrode holder and we cut off about 10 feet off of the end, okay, you can see here, and uh, put a dense connector in there. And so what we're gonna do is utilize this particular cord here um, to plug into our suitcase uh, wire feeder. And but in order to do that, we have to see kind of what do we need to configure here. So, uh, this being the positive side, all right, we're going to use this to actually plug into the wire feeder. So, let's go over here and we will go into the negative. All right, so this gets a little bit confusing, but we're running DC negative uh, to, right to the wire feeder. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in. Just a dense connector, so we twist it and locks in. Um, and notice this says wire. I don't know if you can see that, this says wire. Um, and this one says TIG stick gouge. So uh, we were running stick before. So this is our, our ground clamp or work lead. So we're going to disconnect that. That's actually going to come over to the positive side. And I know there's a lot of different ways that this could be done. Um, this is the way working with our local welding uh, supply store we decided to do it and they had the parts for it so uh, you know that's kind of why we did it um, but okay so what does this mean well let's come over here and take our work lead ground clamp which you can see goes up and now it's running over to the positive side there on the left okay so let's come over here and we're gonna hook that on like that okay now we're gonna take we're gonna take this end here that was our positive but we had switched that over to the negative side and I'm not even going to use the electrode holder there the end of that I have enough cord I don't need that so I will come over to the wire feeder and uh, we're going to connect these two together and again it's just a dense connector so get that tightened up um, then let's open up our suitcase wire feeder here these are really amazing I'll tell you what this is uh, this is a unique very unique um, you know tool if you ever get a chance to use one um, and all of you guys make sure you come down and run this um, but we have it set up again with our uh, this is our NR211 045 uh, Lincoln inner shield wire uh, got a few controls in here. You can make make a couple adjustments. Not too many things that we're going to be messing with. 
Um, we do have our, uh, our 045 uh, knurled uh, V-groove drive rolls in here. And then also, okay, when you're doing this, you have a voltage uh, sensing lead that needs to be hooked up or else this is not going to work. So we are going to hook that up. Uh, and we will, once we get this thing, thing fired up, we will be adjusting, um, depending on the configuration and type of machine that you have, um, meaning the uh, wire feeder uh, that you're using. Uh, this one, the way that it's set up is we are actually going to set the voltage at the uh, trailblazer power source and then we're going to set the uh, wire feed speed right here so we'll only be adjusting the wire feed speed um, and going back to the main machine here um, you can see okay we typically have been running this on the uh, shielded metal arc um, process of 6010 or 7018 but now okay we are actually going to be coming in over here to the no gas uh, the flux cord arc welding self-shielded option and that's the beauty of running uh, self-shielded wire you know we're uh, we're outside today and uh, you know any type of process that has gas just doesn't work real well in the wind so uh, we're going to go ahead and fire this up and close these down and like I've mentioned in the other video that I talked about this machine kind of give it a little review uh, very very um, amazing machine but let's go ahead and get this thing fired up I know that uh, it looks like everything is probably flashing in the screen or at least it, it was before the last video that I did it looks like the last time we run was the 7018 so we are going to go ahead and turn this down to a no gas flux cord arc welding self shielded and okay so it's showing about 17.2 volts um, and uh, it's got an open circuit voltage there that's uh, probably about where we'll get started maybe a little bit lower than that Let's come over here and we'll turn on this unit, here's the machine, rev up a little bit. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna adjust our wire feed speed right here. It's this little knob on the side. Pretty slick how that works. Kind of set that to uh, wherever. Um, and then actually once we start welding, the voltage will be displayed here. Uh, so if you have somebody working with you, they can tell you what the volts is. Uh, when you're actually running, it's kind of difficult uh, by myself here, so I can't see that. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get things set up. Just going to run a couple T joints here. The one thing that I really want to stress is that you know we need need to maintain that uh, long stick out. You know, this is self shielded wire, so um, self shielded wire. 045 uh, you're looking at probably a minimum of three quarters of an inch stick out we need that extra stick out for that uh, wire to preheat so that uh, when it does melt it can put off proper shielding gas so okay let's kind of step back here we can see what's going on and uh, let's go ahead and get some parts tacked up and start welding
Okay, so I really didn't change uh, settings much for a month ago when I turned, turned the machine on. Uh, we're running 17.2 volts right now, uh, and that's actually at the throw blazer itself. I couldn't see what the wire feeder was reading as I was, as I was running, um, but uh, we're running 170 uh, inches per minute right now, wire feeder. Thank you.